Hi there. Since the inception of Microsoft Fabric, it becomes quite confusing for certain people that what's going to be the future of Microsoft Power BI. What are going to be the different types of licenses that you can avail or you can buy to start utilizing Microsoft Power BI inside your organization? Or what it's going to be the future alongside with Microsoft Fabric? Well, if those questions are also your concern too, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to let you know what are the different kinds of licenses are available for Microsoft Power BI, how they are related to Microsoft Fabric, and what's going to be the future of Microsoft Power BI alongside with Microsoft Fabric. So, if you really want to know, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about it. Hey there, my name is Ajay Kumar and today at BI Consulting Pro, we are going to deep dive into different kinds of Microsoft Fabric licenses. This video has been divided into three different parts so that it's not going to bore you and it's also not going to be a very long video, which I really don't want to do that. So this is the first part where I'm going to explain you what are the different kinds of licenses available for Microsoft Power BI and how you can relate it to Microsoft Fabric. Currently, I'm going to present you something and this is something which is also available on Microsoft's website. So this document, you can download it from there as well. Now let's jump in into my laptop and I'm going to explain you what do I mean. Over here, we are first going to talk about the Power BI licenses portfolio, how it's going to be there when you have to pick one license for you. The very first is Power BI Pro. Power BI Pro licenses starts with 10 bucks per month per user. Please do remember that whatever I'm going to tell you the pricing of these licenses in this video, all of them are in USD. Now, Power BI Pro license is going to be required for all the developers, whoever is going to Microsoft Power BI services or trying to publish over there any of the content related to Microsoft Power BI, they are going to need Power BI Pro license. Even if you are having Microsoft Power BI premium capacities, you're still going to need Power BI Pro license to publish the content on Microsoft Power BI services this is how it's going to be required in case of power bi premium per user its price is 20 usd per user per month however please do remember that if you would like to use power bi premium per user then all other users should also have the same license otherwise they won't be able to consume any of the content that one ppu user is going to publish on power bi services I hope this is quite clear to you. If you are still confused about these licenses, then we have already created a couple of videos before, so you can also check them out, where I have thoroughly explained what is the difference between Power BI Pro, Power BI Premium, Power BI Embedded, etc. Now coming to the Power BI Embedded license. This license has a different cost. Basically, it cost varies according to the consumption. It is based on ASQs. SQs are stock keeping unit, and over here you can see that on your screen that its license by capacity is 735 USD plus per user per month. As I mentioned, it plus means it cost may vary. So you have to check the complete pricing for different SKU tiers. Now coming to the Microsoft Fabric. Microsoft Fabric has been officially launched in October 2023. Since then, many of the worldwide organizations are using it. This is one end-to-end -end software as a service platform that is going to solve or cater your all the needs related to data and analytics. Whether you want to do certain data engineering work, data warehousing, maybe you just want to visualize the data, you want to create certain alerts, you want to ingest the real-time data into your storage system or, your, or into your own platform in your organization, then it can cater all of your end-to-end -end data analytics needs that's where Microsoft Fabric come into the picture. However, for this, you have to also get reserved capacities, as we used to do in Power BI Premium, where PSQs were there, P1, P2, P3, P4, and so on. Here also, we have FSQs. F stands for Microsoft Fabric. And that also goes from F1 till F24, 28, and so on. So we are going to have a look at what are the different FSQs are over there. So Microsoft Fabric is overall a capacity-based license, so you have to purchase the capacity, but also there are other related costs, such as networking cost. There may be cost involved in storage. There may be cost involved when you are trying to mirror one database into Microsoft Fabric. So please pay attention over there because that is very important. Microsoft Fabric can solve your all organization needs, but it may be a bit expensive too. However, it can be cheaper as well if you are going to go for the reserve capacities, but that totally depends on what sort of analytics needs 
you have inside your organization. Now let's move further. Very first is Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is free, of course. You don't need to pay anything. You use Microsoft Power BI Desktop to create your reports, to create your semantic models, to modify reports, or maybe you want to combine data from different sources over there. There can be any number of use cases. However, certain tasks you can nowadays perform in Power BI Service as well, but it becomes difficult. If you just do it in Power BI Service, then you cannot download that PBX file. Nowadays, there is the solution, which is the Git integration. But again, most of the organizations are not using it, so I won't say that. However, the possibility is there. But still, core developers always prefer to use Microsoft Power BI Desktop. There are all the features available, and you can start using it for free for now. If you would like to try it inside your organization, you would like to see that how the reports are going to appear, what sort of features are available, etc. Everything is available over there. Coming to the point number two, over here, Power BI Pro. Power BI Pro is the license that you're gonna need to publish and share your content through the Power BI service. If you are a core Power BI developer inside your organization, you may need to publish the content on Power BI service because that is your platform where you collaborate with other users. You publish your content into the Power BI workspaces, just consider them as a container, then you share with other users. So it depends on the licensing that your organization has acquired you may need other Power BI Pro, Premium Power User licenses or not. But as a core developer, you are going to need Power BI Pro license. If in your organization you are having Office 365 E5 license, then you don't need to get a Power BI Pro license separately. Yes, you heard me correct. Because Power BI Pro license is already bundled with Office 365 E5 package. So you don't need to get it separately. Now, let's talk about Microsoft Fabric a bit. As I mentioned, Microsoft Fabric comes with the different experiences. Every vertical or every domain, let's see, inside Microsoft Fabric, and domain means I'm gonna call it like data engineering, data visualization, that can be real-time data ingestion, that can be data warehousing, data science, etc. Every part of that is known as an experience in Microsoft Fabric. In the same way, Microsoft Fabric also has data visualization that is through Power BI as one of its experience. So if you would like to analyze data, you would like to visualize the data, then in Microsoft Fabric for data visualization purpose, you have Microsoft Power BI. Now, you must be wondering how Microsoft Fabric does it all as a unified solution. As I mentioned, there are the different layers in the architecture of Microsoft Fabric. If you would go at the bottom, you would find a layer which is going to be the unified experience. That means you are gonna have it as a software as a solution, software as a service, product experience, you would get entire security and governance over there. Not only that, you would get all the computer resources and your business model. Then actually Microsoft Fabric is entirely based on one leg. One leg is nothing, but consider it's just a way where you can store your all the data. You can also relate it to as ADLS Gen 2 because it's ideally based on that too. But on the top of that, there are the different experiences. And now those experiences are also powered by Gen AI solution, which is Microsoft Fabric Copilot. That can help you to just interact with your data through the natural language. You can ask any insight out of Microsoft Fabric. Maybe there is a different experiences. Similar to that Microsoft Power BI Copilot. If you don't know what is Microsoft Power BI Copilot, how it can help you, please do check the link in the description section where we are publishing videos on Microsoft Power BI Copilot and how it can help you to create reports, ask questions from your semantic model and all. Soon we are also gonna work on certain videos related to Microsoft Fabric Copilot. Now, as I mentioned, there are different experiences in Microsoft Fabric. Data Factory, which is help you to ingest the data, copy the data, transform the data, etc. Then there's a data engineering part, data warehousing, data science, real-time intelligence and Power BI. There's one more part which is not over there, that is when you have to create the alert, then you can also use one of the Microsoft Fabric experience. Now, Microsoft Fabric business model overview is right now on your screen, where there are mainly three major part in it. And what are the very first, as I mentioned, the storage solution, which is your one lake, which is gonna cater your all the data sources or the data at one single point. Now, on the top of that, there are different experiences which we just discovered, whether it can be your data factory, data engineering, data science, data warehousing, real-time intelligence, and Power BI. And every one of these experiences is surrounded by Microsoft Fabric Copilot. Now, at last, we are gonna talk about Microsoft Fabric Simplicity. Microsoft Fabric is a unified product for all your data and analytics workload. 
that means your end-to-end -end data analytics solutions you can do that and now you're wondering what is end-to-end -end solution well end-to-end -end means from the ingestion of the data or extracting the data from the different sources to deliver it as a data product or as a data visualization maybe it's a report or maybe just users want to do the self-service over there or maybe there is an app integration of some of the reports etc so everything end-to-end -end, you extract the data you transform the data you then further ingest the data into different tables or database over there and then you are maybe creating your either data warehouse or you are just working on a database then creating report out of that or maybe in between you also would like to do certain actions or maybe it wants to write some notebooks or you want to perform certain actions on real-time data you want to generate certain insights etc etc everything you can do through this so you don't need to go to Microsoft Azure and initiate a new service. You do not need to go to the Databricks instance to initiate a new instance for writing your PySpark notebook or maybe Python notebook, etc. Everything you are going to get in this one single platform. Here, you should know that there is a compute and there is a storage. Storage basically where you are going to store your data. Of course, you have to pay for that. That is pay as you go. And also for compute, you are going to get the different FSQs. In, in the next part, I'm going to also let you know what are the different FSQs. But just to know, before ending this video, FSQs are fabric, uh, fabric stock keeping unit. Based on that, you get the different licenses. P1 is equivalent to F64. That means whatever workload you used to do in P1 in Power BI Premium, now the same compute power is equivalent to F64. Later on, in the next video, I'm going to explain you more about that. But just to know, that you can either get it pay as you go or you can also get for reservation and now you'll be wondering what is pay as you go or what is the reservation well pay as you go maybe you are getting data and you just need to use your compute resources once in a day or twice in a day rather than just taking the reserve capacities and you pay at once but the difference is in terms of cost if you do not have the requirement of using those compute power again and again or throughout the entire day then i say you can go for pay as you go however if you know that you can refresh data at any time during the day or maybe you have this requirement that you would like to just do it once a day or something so that's gonna make a huge difference if i really want to use my compute resources at any point of the day then probably i'll go for the reserve capacities also i get certain discounts over there how much i'm gonna let you know later but if i know that i barely use my computer resources then probably pay as you go is the best solution or best licensing for you well this is it for this video i'm sorry if it's getting a bit longer but guys trust me this is gonna help you a lot and please stay tuned for two more videos in this series which are gonna blow your mind about how fabric works and not only that i'm also gonna let you know that if you are on p SQUs, then it's time to think about it. Maybe you are not going to be able to use them later on. So please wait for our next video. Meanwhile, keep exploring the world of data, keep learning, and I'm going to see you in the next video.